Now, one of my phrases I like to use, and you can use it as well, is that no regrets. And you hear that, no regrets, lessons learned. People have heard that statement. But I got to this moment where it's like, no regrets, lessons learned, strength gained, and my, my faith has kept me. Because a lot of times, and this ties into organizing, y'all, and just little notes here, little tidbits, because it's a big subject, is that a lot of times people will say, when I go in there and I'm helping them to organize, they're afraid to get rid of things. Because they'll say, if I get rid of that, I know I'm going to need it. But guess what? We can't live like that. If we have to keep every single thing because we're afraid of getting rid of it, then that's where the clutter comes in. So one of the things we're talking about today is mindset and goals, your thoughts and priorities. So for example, what I say to you can apply to your home. It can apply to the nurse's station and your office. It really kind of crosses all kinds of boundaries. Now, I know that when you get 50 million things on your list of things to do, and then all of a sudden there is an emergency, but you know there's a deadline, and you know there's somebody that's on your back, right, saying that this has to, has to happen. And so what do you do? Am I going to get a brave person? Go ahead. Tell me something. If I get too stressed out, I kind of shut down and just pick the first thing that has to be done. And that fire after fire after Okay, right, and that's exactly it. And you know that in a hospital setting that sometimes the fire becomes a patient. But yet you know that there's all those checklists and all those other things that need to happen. And you're right. So in those kind of situations, you have to take a step back for a second. Yes, you're taking care of that emergency, but as soon as that emergency kind of alleviates itself, that's where you need to go to one of your coworkers, your boss, your supervisor, and say, I need assistance. You can't be afraid of it. You can't. And document, honey, y'all know this. <laughs> document, document, document. Because this is the thing that's gonna, it's gonna help y'all. It really, really is. Houston is a melting pot. Did y'all know that Houston has surpassed New York in diversity? Yeah. Exactly. But everybody thinks differently. And we have to take a step back at times and be willing to say, not everybody's going to think like me. I'm always surprised that he don't think like me. Gosh, you know, I mean, I think I think they're right. But, and it seems so silly, y'all, but it's so critical. This is a critical thing. We have to declutter our beliefs and mindsets and thoughts.